This video shows you how to upload an email list to Neverbounce and then validate that list and then finally download it from Neverbounce. So the first thing, and, and you'll see right here, I have, uh, I've already got several different um, email lists that I've brought in. So the first thing you want to do is click on Add List, Upload from Computer. And you're going to either drag and drop the files that um, you want to validate here or just click on it to open them. Now I just recently downloaded a list to the desktop, I believe. One of the nice things about Neverbounce is that you don't have to um, do anything to the CSV file before you uh, validate it. So I'll click open and it's ready to go. You can, you can do multiples here, obviously. So once that's done, then we can um, validate it. I'm going to go ahead and close this note list, this list of notes here. That will help. Now there's two ways, two different options that are happening here. One is to analyze your list and that doesn't cost anything. And it'll show you how, um, how usable your list is. So I've actually already cleaned this particular list, um, but I'm, since I'm using it for illustration purposes, we're okay. So I'm going to click on analyze my list just to show you how that works. And it's going to go through and run, uh, essentially run the type of validation that it normally does on the list. Now, this is pretty good. It says this list only has an estimated bounce rate of 2%. Now, in my experience, you can't trust this. What you really want to do is clean my list. So you click on clean my list. And when it's done, then you simply download the list. All right. So since this is essentially the exact same list, and you can see this is the, the exact same list. It estimated the bounce rate of 2%, but the actual bounce rate was almost 40%. Now, 33% of those were catch-all emails. And what that means is they won't bounce, but they're not going to go to an individual. They're just going to go to kind of a group email list. So that's not very useful to you. Um, the ones you really want are the ones that are considered invalid. So just simply download. And you have three choices. You can deliver, uh, download just the deliverables. You can download just the undeliverables, or you can download everything. Now, I prefer to go with deliverables, which is just the valids. And that's what I recommend that you do. All right. You do have some custom options, but we can skip those. Click on download. Pick the location and the name. Click save. And you're done.